Hello, remote families. Welcome back to school. I'm Mrs. Keene, and we have a few messages on how to get ready for remote learning. Good morning, families. Welcome back. We are so excited to have you finally back at school. The purpose of the meeting is for us to share how you will be learning at home. We wanted to give the students at home a preview because there are many routines to learn the first week, and we want you to feel relaxed. Each day, you'll see a screen like this and it'll have a message to you and the materials you need for the day. Every morning, you're gonna have a morning meeting. It starts with a greeting, sharing, and a morning activity. It's how we'll get to know each other. In your Google Classroom, and I'll show you how to get, that, get into that in a minute, everyone will have a schedule. This is my schedule, so yours might look a little different. Notice how some spaces are highlighted in yellow. Your teacher will indicate your schedule and when you need to be online for learning time. The other times might be a break or independent work. You'll also get your assignments each week. It'll tell you what to do on Monday, Tuesday, and so on. This will be updated every week in your Google Classroom. Practicing safety. You will be learning all about the ways that we keep safe and socially distant the first week of school. Even though you are learning from home, you will all learn the safety expectations so when you come back to school, you'll be ready. These are some of the most important things. We're gonna teach you how to use all of these. Let's just look at them. So you need to know to check your Gmail every day. Your Google Classroom, this is where you sign on for your meetings. You go into the meet, you'll be meeting with your teachers and your students here. There's the Clever Platform, Wonders, that's your reading program, I Ready for your math and reading. Your materials at home need to be organized in one place. And you're gonna have your Chromebook, of course. That needs to be charged every day. It's time to practice. So, if you're watching this video from another device, you can sign on to your Chromebook with your student password. Your teachers will let you know what that is, unless you remember it from last year. So you can pause the video at any time, so you can practice the steps slowly. Great, I'm gonna let Mrs. Briggs tell you how to do that. Okay, boys and girls, I'm gonna be going through the steps of when you have your Chromebooks and you are doing remote learning at home, what you will first do is you'll open your Chromebook and the Chromebook will automatically ask you to put in your Gmail address and your password. Your Gmail address will be your name at student.southbridgepublic.org and your password is usually your lunch number and your teachers will be giving you that information at the beginning of the remote learning. Once you put that information in, two tabs will come up. One will be the Clever tab, and we'll ask you to log in with Google. From this tab, you're able to access your reading materials, And in the Wonders Reading, all of your reading, writing, assignments that your teachers will give to you, the games that we assign you in your assignment path, and any story or piece of reading that we do will be assigned through this Wonders tab. Again, it starts with the McGraw-Hill symbol, and then it will take you into your Wonders tab which has all of your reading, writing, spelling, and lessons. You're also able to access your iReady map from this tab, along with the iReady assessments that we will be doing throughout the year. The second tab that opens up is our Southbridge Public School tab. This has all the information that the remote families will need the one that the children need to focus on is the email login. So you will click the email login. 
From there, you'll be in your email. We call it Gmail because it's through Google, but this will be the children's own personal email. Up here is the waffle. We refer to this as the waffle or the Google Suite, if you're familiar with Google. Once you click on your waffle, you're able to get into your classroom, any of the slideshows we've set up, or your Gmail. Once in the Google Classrooms, you will see your homeroom Google Classroom, where you'll be able to access everything you need, but you'll also see the special area teachers will set up a Google Classroom for music, for art, for library, and for gym or PE. Once you're in your Google Classroom, there is a Stream tab. On that Stream tab, you have all of the important announcements for your homeroom for the week. We also have a classwork, to, oh wait, sorry. From the Stream tab, that is how you get into your Google Meet. Once you click that link, the Google Meet that your teachers have set up will be right there for you. You want to make sure your little microphone icon changes to off when you are not speaking and on when you are speaking. You want to make sure the little camera is off until we're ready to see all of your beautiful faces and then you would turn the camera on. You will click the join now and your Google meeting will start. Back on the Google Classroom page, we have our classwork page set up. From the classwork page, we will put the parent communication in here. Ms. Keene showed you at the beginning, we will have our schedule set up and our assignment checklist. So when the schedule is yellow or whatever color your teacher decides to put, those are the times that you should be in your Google Meet, which is on the Stream tab. The assignments will be here for each week and they will stay there so you can keep going back for any assignments that you might have missed. Now Mrs. Ecos is going to go over what materials you and your families will come pick up this week so that you'll be ready for remote learning. Hi boys and girls. So here are a few things you're going to need at home. This is your wait time folder so that if something goes wrong with technology or we're in a small group with other students, you have materials in here to work. On this side, you have math materials and reading materials on this side. You will have a whiteboard for your math problems or anything we might ask you to hold up your answers. Here is your math workbook. Now, for the first lesson, it's not in your book, so we will be putting a packet like this for the very first lesson inside the book. Please make sure you keep it in there. Do not misplace it. We also have your reading companion book. Um, you will not have a reading textbook at home right now, but that will be online. So we'll be working in the workbook. And then, you will have a little book here for notes, um, anything we might ask you to jot down, just that you can refer to it later on, okay? And the best thing is your Chromebook. Definitely need your Chromebook charged up. It's your charger, please keep it charged at all times, okay? So we're looking forward to seeing you on the 14th. And also, we will be giving you a hard copy of the slideshow itself. Ms. Ortiz has translated um, into Spanish. So after all of the English slides, the Spanish slides are also in there. And you can pause this video at any time, go back and practice, or give us an email through our Gmail accounts or any of our Google phone numbers if you have any questions for your remote learning. We're all in this together. Right. You're, when you pick up your materials, hopefully you already have, you'll also have a big bag of supplies that we'll be using. So don't misplace them, keep everything together in one place. 
and keep that Chromebook charged. Goodbye. Bye. See you soon.